This video will introduce entity relationship diagrams. Entity relationship diagrams, also written as ERDs or ER diagrams, show how the tables in a database are related to each other. This is the ER diagram for the Chinook database, which I obtained from the SQLite tutorial. There are many different conventions for drawing the boxes and the links between them, but the basic idea is that the ER diagram shows the tables in the database, their columns, and if there's a relationship between tables. For example, take the albums table. It contains information on album titles. We use a box with a label to represent an entity, here a table, and describe the attributes of the entity in the box, namely its columns. Entities are connected by relations. The little symbols on the end of the lines are called crow's foot notation. The most important relations are these three. This is the notation for a one-to-one -one relation, that is, one student per chair. This is a one-to-many relation, that is, one teacher can teach a number of courses. And finally, the many-to-many -many relation. Students can take many courses, and courses can have many students. Back to the ER diagram. Let's say we want to know the artist details for a particular track. We follow the links from the artist table to the track table via the album table. Here we assume every track is on an album, though in principle the album could only have one track. Basically, the entity relationship diagram is a map of the database, and if it is available, it's very useful to have it open when working with the database it represents.